in terms of representing, if you like, rugby league down here at Wembley, representing the sport, getting a footprint in London, I, I, I now can see that there's nobody better than, than Martin Afire because of what he did at Wembley. Sure play now, Gary Connolly. And Martin Afire trying to make some space. Everything that, that Martin Afire is, character, personality, talent, you know, he has loads and loads of, of, of those attributes and um, it, it, it was just that one magical moment as well, that, that one try. Yeah. You know, he's got all those other attributes and he, and he put them all together and produced something to my mind that's up there with anything that's ever been achieved at Wembley. He, he's a bit, yeah, he's, he is a big personality. He's still got a presence and a profile now. Martin Afire has got oodles of everything you want in a, you know, a, a sporting star. He, he was a superstar, you know, make no mistake. It, it's a word that's probably overused in sport, but Martin Afire, and he also had the greatest sporting nickname ever, you know. You, you, you know, you, you want to introduce that nickname to as many generations as possible. You want people or, you know, most of the people that see the statue to say, that's Martin Afay, well, what did he do, what was he all about? You know, what, 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 what about this sport? I'd like to find more out about this sport, you know. And the fires will be fantastic for that, hopefully, leading people into the league.